When PDT opened in May of 2007, I was busy reading a book by a good friend of mine, Wayne Curtis, called A Bottle of Rum, A History of the World in 10 Cocktails. In one of those chapters, he talked about this drink called the Flip. It had spirit, obviously rum, it had a sweetener, it had a whole egg, and it had beer. And the way you made this cocktail was you plunged what was called a loggerhead, which was heating in the fire into the drink. The term coming to loggerheads uh, comes from this idea of these colonial people pulling loggerheads out of the fire and actually fighting in taverns. I realized that that recipe could be translated into a perfect fall drink, which I call the Great Pumpkin. For this drink, I've chosen all of, all of my favorite fall ingredients. One of my favorite local pumpkin beers, Rittenhouse Rye, local Laird's Bonded Apple Brandy, and then I've got Vermont Grade B Maple Syrup. And I'm actually gonna make this drink like it was made in Wayne's book, using a whole egg. Don't be freaked out about putting an egg in a cocktail. It's all about freshness. Now, to make this drink, you need a number of different tools. To begin with, uh, I've got some grated nutmeg. I have a Boston shaker. Next, I'm gonna need just an opener for my beer. Probably the most important tool here is the jigger. Uh, this one is half and one ounce. This one is one and one and a half ounce. So this is a highball glass. I'm gonna actually chill before I get going. All the way over on the end, what I didn't mention is, uh, this is the PDT cocktail book. You'll find the recipe for the Great Pumpkin, uh, an illustration done by my partner, Chris Gall. I'm gonna start by mixing Maple syrup, the smallest quantity in the cocktail, it's in half an ounce, an ounce of Laird's Bonded Apple Brandy. Next up, I'm gonna add two ounces of the beer. So I'm gonna swirl to decarbonate it, and then pour that into the shaker. And last of all, I'm gonna add the egg. When you add an egg to a cocktail, you're looking for two things. The egg white is gonna add this rich uh, texture to it, and the egg yolk is gonna give the drink a sort of chocolatey flavor. I'm gonna add ice. And give it a nice hard shake for about 10 seconds. Strain it into my chilled glass. Garnish that with some freshly grated nutmeg. Cheers.